Oh, so it's that time again. The market has crashed. We're all gonna lose all of our money and everything's gonna be over. It's very hard to look at your portfolio in a time like this. And I just wanted to make a quick video to address my thoughts on what's happening in the market right now. And actually, I hadn't planned to make this video because I didn't really want to talk about this dip because honestly, I just think it's necessary. We need it in order to go higher. But I was scrolling on YouTube and my video actually got suggested to me, which was exactly a month ago. And my portfolio has close to doubled since then. And it's been one month. And now we're on a pullback of around, what, 25% at this point? Just two days ago, we saw a high in Bitcoin of 58,000. And today we're looking at 47,800. And that is pretty terrible. We're down close to $11,000 in around 24 hours. I know for me, that totals at a net loss of $25,000 thousand dollars at this point in 24 hours that is pretty intense to see and i'm sure a lot of you are feeling the same pain as i am and it really does hurt to see so guys let's break this down a bit why is this happening well on the 1st of february bitcoin was thirty-three thousand dollars. i know that's hard to believe but it was $33,000. Today, it's the 23rd of February, and just two days ago, it was $58,000. And now we are sitting at around $47,000. And yes, that's a huge pullback, but imagine this scenario. It was the 1st of February again, you bought at $33,000, and then you just fast forwarded today with your eyes closed, you never looked at your portfolio. Three weeks later. And now you look at it and it's $47,000. If you had bought a full Bitcoin, you would have just made, you know, $14,000 right there, including this massive pullback. So what we have to do is we have to pull out, take ourselves out of the situation and look at the big picture. We are still very much going up. Can I tell you for 100% certain that we're gonna continue to go up or we're gonna continue to go down? No, nobody knows what's gonna happen next. We have no idea. I can tell you from what it looks like and my opinion that I think it's gonna continue to go up. We have people like Michael Saylor who's buying more Bitcoin. Billions of dollars of Bitcoin. We have Elon Musk who's buying Bitcoin. And recently because of this, we've seen Tesla stock price actually go down. But that is what happens when you try and force change. Bitcoin is completely disrupting our entire lives. Everything we've believed about money our whole lives is flipped upside down when you look at Bitcoin. It, it's nothing, you know? People are saying it's gold 2.0, but gold is a physical thing that you can hold in your hand. And Bitcoin is what? Just a few ones and zeros on a computer somewhere that no one even understands and no one even knows who created. It's completely out of this world. It's something completely new. And because of that, we're gonna see massive highs and we're gonna see massive lows and that's something you have to be prepared for. Now there's two ways to deal with this. One, if you're a trader, a day trader or a swing trader and you're looking to make profit you know on the daily basis, on the weekly basis, then maybe you should consider selling now and buying when it goes down. But if you're a long-term investor, if you sell now, there is a possibility that this is the bottom. You never know when the bottom is and it could climb up from here. If you wanna buy Bitcoin again, you're gonna to have to buy it on the way up. Now I'm not saying it's definitely gonna go back up. You could very well sell now, buy again when it goes lower and you've just got yourself a decent bag of Bitcoin. But that's not always the case and it's very, very hard to time the market. You know what they say, it's time in the market, not time in the market. We have to decide what sort of investment investor and what sort of trader you are. There's nothing wrong with being a trader of cryptocurrency. You buy low, you sell high, you rinse and repeat. You see a dip like this, you buy and you sell and it works great. I do day trading and swing trading with my cryptocurrency, but I also have long-term plays. But with my day trading and my swing trading, I have stop losses and basically all of them were hit and I lost about 25% just last night. But I was up a couple of thousand dollars in the past week. So these are the things that come and go, but you just have to accept these losses and move on. If it's long-term, then it's long-term, but you have to decide. And like I said in my previous video, the last crash when we crashed from, I think 30,000 to 21,000 or 40,000 to 30,000 or whatever it was, it was about a 25% pullback. That's what we're seeing again now. And what I think this is, is retail investors selling profits and also panic selling. Like I said, 1st of February, we were at $33,000. Now, 23rd of February, we were at $58,000. Come on, people are gonna be selling. Loads of people made amazing profits in two weeks. They're gonna be selling their position. High level of selling pressure will cause the price 
to come down, but we need this for the price to continue going up. There's always gonna be what's known as weak hands and you need to shake out those weak hands because in order for us to go up, we need people to stop selling. So we can get the selling out of the way and then we can get back our Bitcoin backpacks on and we can go hiking back up that mountain to $100,000. That's what I'm hoping will happen in the near term. That's my opinion on what's happening now. So we're at a fork in the road and hopefully this video will help you just decide which way you wanna go on that road. You've gotta decide what kind of trader you are now. Maybe you do sell and you buy back lower or maybe we just hold on for dear life and see where we end up in a few days. And don't forget guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy sitting in his room trying to make a bit of cash online. So take everything I say with a little pinch of salt and probably just don't listen to anything I'm saying. If I did provide you with a little bit of value, do consider smashing that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in one of the next videos.